Now remember what Anaxagoras did. He reduced the number of forces from two down to one. He reduced the number of kinds of particles from four down to two. Okay, so what do the animists do? Well, they reduce the number of kinds of particles too. Right? Uh, Anaxagoras has the, the light and the dark particles, right? He's got those two broad different kinds. The atomists have just one, right? All of the atoms, these particles of matter, uh, they are, you know, they're indivisible, they're indestructible, right? But there's not different kinds of them. It's just one kind of particle, right? They're all the same. Uh, so they've reduced the number of kinds of particles from two down to one. They just have atoms, not all these different kinds of particles. Okay. Well, then, you know, what distinguishes one, one object from another? You know, Anaxagoras is going to look at the fountain and say, look, there's two different kinds of matter there. We've got the really, really dark particles. That's the body of the fountain. And we've got the you know, much lighter particles. That's the water coming down, right? I'm very different from the tree because of the combination of light and dark particles. And Pedicles is going to point to the four different kinds of particles. The atomists are going to say, what distinguishes those objects from me and from each other is our form. Right? is the structure, the arrangement, the geometric arrangement of those atoms, right? That's what's, that's what's going to distinguish an uh, object from another. Okay, well, that's the particles. Empedocles have four kinds of particles. Anaxagoras reduced that down to two. The atoms reduced it down to one, all right? Empedocles had two forces. Anaxagoras reduced it down to one. What do the atomists do? Well, remember what they say. The reason why things change, it's random, right? Particles just move. They move, uh, they come together and uh, fall apart in the very di the different geometric arrangements because they just do. Right? So instead of having any force at all, the atomists say there are no forces. Right? The particles just move. Interesting.